In this video, we're going to go over how to add integers. First, let's talk about what an integer is. An integer is any whole number or counting number, positive or negative, and zero. Integers do not include decimals or fractions. In my last video, you saw that we looked at adding integers using a number line. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link up top so you can watch it. Using a number line is great for learning how to add integers, but it isn't practical to use it with larger numbers. Let's go over a few rules for how to add integers quickly without having to draw a number line. There are three scenarios that you could use when adding integers. Adding two positive integers, adding two negative integers, or adding both positive and negative integers. Let's look at a few examples of these scenarios. The first example is adding two integers. This is as straightforward as it can get. It's adding two numbers together, which hopefully by now you all can do. 32 plus 25 is 57. When you are adding two positive integers, your answer will always be positive. Example two, what is negative 32 plus negative 25? I'll go ahead and tell you the rule number two now. When you're adding two negative numbers, the answer will always be negative. Since that is the case, we simply add the numbers together, 32 plus 25, which we know from our first example is 57, and we put a negative sign in front. So negative 32 plus negative 25 is negative 57. Example three, what is negative 32 plus positive 25? Here we have an example of one positive integer and one negative integer. The rule here is going to be, subtract the absolute values of these integers and the sign of the integer with the highest absolute value will be the answer. So let's walk through that slowly. First, what is an absolute value? The absolute value of an integer is the value of the number without the negative sign. So, for example, the absolute value of negative 32 is just 32. It simply means drop the negative sign and think of it as being positive. So for the second part of this rule, it says to subtract the number as if they were both positive. So let's take 32 minus 25 and we get seven. Seven's going to be in our answer, but we need to look at both of our signs here. The absolute value of 32 is 32. The absolute value of 25 is 25. Which one is greater? the 32. The 32 integer is negative, so our answer will be negative 7. Let's look at differently with example 4, but this time it's going to be positive 32 plus negative 25. So the rule states when you're adding a positive integer and a negative integer, subtract the numbers as if they were both positive, and then use the sign of the one with the largest absolute value. So we know 32 minus 25 is equal to 7. The absolute value of 32 is 32. The absolute value of negative 25 is 25. 32 is greater. This integer is positive, so our answer will be positive. Hopefully you found these rules helpful. Since you've walked through a few examples of each of your own, see if you can't try this bonus question. What is negative 17 plus positive 28? Leave your answer in the comments and check out my extra practice video where I'll go over four more examples of how to add integers. Check up top for the link. Good luck. If you found the video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and a subscribe as it helps the channel grow. If you have a topic you want to see covered, drop me a comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.